Hello there, I'm Steve Mills. You might have seen me in a, a couple of previous videos. I work with Rob and the other Steve, as part of FWG. I've been working with Rob this morning cutting bottles with our conductive ink. And he showed you how to do a nice, uh, a nice cut around the bottle. But it suddenly occurred to me that we might be able to produce some quite nice shapes for other things, for vases and, and uh, that type of thing. So what I thought was we really needed to get rid of some of the energy that was being put out by the microwave. So I've just taken a, a small plate and put some water in, in it, um, painted a, an ellipse on a bottle and as you can see that's quite a nice shape and what's more it appears to have been cut a lot smoother. There's a very nice bevel on that as well. Um, so it might not take so much to get that down with a carborundum. Okay, so that's the small bottle. We're gonna now try it on a larger bottle. And um, what I have here is a coffee jar because really it's the only thing I've got to hand. But this is a lot thicker glass. There are corners, it's a square bottle, so it shouldn't be um, that easy to do on the normal processes with, a, with uh, heated wires, but we're gonna try it with our ink. Uh, so we've done exactly the same as we did before. We've uh, cleaned it with acetone. I've put some, actually it's uh, electrical tape around here because it snaps nicely back onto the glass and you can get a nice even edge on it. So we'll just take that one off. This one. Okay, you might notice there's a bit of a spill down the side there. If that happens, obviously that's going to affect the glass. So you need to just take a a rag and make sure that's nice and clean. All you're after really is a nice fine line around the glass. Okay so as before we've got a microwave, we've got a small plate with a little bit of water in it to absorb the microwave energy. Um, I'm using a, a coffee glass but there's no reason why you can't use a nice wine bottle and perhaps create something artistic with that. So the plate goes in coffee jar on the plate and we'll give that a buzz. I think now um, when it starts dying down I think that's the time to uh, bring it out. So as ever we're working with glass so protective gloves on. as that. Nice shape. So there we are. So this is a quite a thick uh, coffee glass actually. It's got corners to it. Usually very difficult to do uh, or near enough impossible with a glass cutter. Um, much easier than a wire cutter. And I can see you know there's, there's quite a business opportunity out there if you can convert some old wine bottles into nice vases and things like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much for watching.